Welcome back, everybody, to Mario Party 4. In the previous episode, we beat Boo's Haunted Bash and actually had a very, very fun time with Mystic Matchem. Also, I told you how to make the deck if you want to make your own Mystic Matchem. But other than that, today we are going to be going through the last board of the game, Koopa Seaside Soiree, a resort map envisioned by Koopa. Also in the previous episode, I stated that the, the streak of no one getting a happening star ends previously. Excellent. Let's party. And I do mean that streak of no one getting a happening star ends on that previous board. Koopa Seaside Soiree. So yeah, this is the final board of the game. This is our final present of the game. So, let's just do our best to win and grab that. Welcome to Koopa Seaside Soiree. The name's Koopa, and it's my distinct pleasure to show you around. This board's the realization of my lifelong dream to build a beautiful tropical resort. Enjoy the laid-back atmosphere as you mellow out to my island's groove and bask in the sights. Now, should we decide to turn order? I'm going last. Daisy's first. Luigi second. <clears throat> DK's third, and I am last. So, other than first, I think, yeah, I, I think the only time, the only position I haven't been in, I think it's first. I think, I don't know. All right, now welcome to my tropical paradise. Allow me to draw attention to the first star. Here's the star. So, Koopa Seaside Soiree. Um, this board in general is, I, I like to say that this board is generally designed with happening spaces in mind. And that's why I keep saying that the streak of no happening stars ends on this board. Unless everyone, including myself, CPUs and me, all legitimately don't land on a single happening space, or we get lucky enough that everyone lands on the same happening spaces, this is gonna be the only board with a happening star. Ahoy there, hop on my back and let's ride. I'll explain the board next time. Ah, uh, we are on here. Also, there's just a grape chilling in the sun. Avalanche! Avalanche! So! <sighs> Fifth board, guys. We're almost done with this shit. Which is weird, because I thought this game was a lot longer than I expected. Also, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, in general, uh, with Mario Party, I did say this was going to be like my, 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 my last Mario Party, uh, recording for a while. I don't know if I said that in recordings, but I know for me in general, me and my brother, we decide like what games to play for, for me to, to, to record for LPs. Um, I said that this was gonna be my like my last Mario Party in a while because um, though I do love Mario Party, my sanity would probably break if I do another Mario Party in like two to four uh two to four um what do you call it two to four like LPs from now. I do have an idea. I do have another Mario Party LP in my mind, which if you want what it is, uh, all right, I'm probably just gonna put a uh, spoiler here. I'm probably gonna put a spoiler here. Kids, keep your ears uh, plugging your like uh, take off your earbuds or just plug your ears. The next the next Mario Party I, uh, LP I want to do, but not for a while, is Mario Party 8. I love 8, and uh, it's a really good board. And it's a really good like story mode. But I'm not doing that for a while. How I record these is that Mario Party 4 is the fourth LP. If you guys can figure out what Mario Party 8 would be. If I don't want to do it within two to four, you can probably figure out what the next, when that LP is going to show up. All right. Spoiler warning. Spoiler is over. Take off, put on your earbuds back on. Take off your ear, your fingers off your ears. I'm done with saying what it was, all right? All right. I'll just, uh, let's do this then. I keep forgetting to do the board. Welcome to Kiki's Banana Jump. In this area here, it doesn't matter what you pick. You're forced to go in a specific area. Um, in, in general, that area is just RNG and it decides you whether you go up or down. So, uh, 
there's no way to distinct it. There's just nothing with nothing to do. You're at the mercy of Lady Luck. Everyone loses 10 points. That's fine. No one gets start. Hoping I can get the start on this turn, but nope. RNG is a cruel mistress. 1v3. Goal. But yeah. Um, other than that, uh, there are more other LPs that I want to put in as well because, though I do love Mario Party, I'd rather not be known as a Mario Party guy. I'm already known as the OJ guy in the Discord server, and then I'd rather not be known as a Mario Party guy on YouTube. Uh, other than that, uh, ooh, that's good. Okay. Oh, hit the crossbar, goddammit. Crossbar again? Damn. So close. So fucking close. The whole, point of, like, the whole way you can like, to win this one is that you have to coordinate with your team to uh to basically uh hit the uh Hit the balls in uh in a specific order or a specific rhythm that they all spread apart like a shotgun and you get the nickel and dime them every time to get one goal in at all time. So other than that, um This is another week's of reporting. These are being recorded in advance. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the content because I've been having fun creating them. Warp pipe, huh? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Fun. Huh. It's not bad if you want to, like, cheese your way to the star. Anyway. Hopefully, I can remember to fucking look at the board. It's, this is, like, the only caveat of, like, playing games by yourself is, is that, uh... If you miss to do, if you like forget to do something like uh, boards, uh, you have to wait to remind yourself again to do it again. And if you're trigger happy like I am, you're probably gonna forget. I know. Koopa Seaside Soiree. This is how the board looks like normally, and that's not bad of a layout. Uh, in general, the whole mechanic of the board are the little happening spaces that you've been seeing. Every single um, happening space has an actual item on it, like a fruit. And as you saw from the beginning of the board, you can actually, it actually takes you to that other side. So I landed on a pineapple one, it took me to the other pineapple. You saw a watermelon one, and you also saw an orange one. You saw, you can understand where those two will go too. But there's another set of uh, happening spaces near the cabana, as I, as I think it's called. I'd rather wait until the cabana is introduced normally to uh, explain what the happening spaces do there. I don't think I beat the record this time again. Five seconds this time. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh damn. So yeah, uh, other than that, um, the other only other like locations that are different is the uh, Okiki Travels. Those, as you saw before, uh, you go there, the Okiki would drop a banana. O Okiki's Banana Peel Junction, there we go. You go on one of you go on the banana peel and it randomly chooses either up or down to go. You can't choose a direction. You can try any way you want. There is no way to uh to uh grab that. There's no way to get the direction you want to get on those junctions. And those are the only ways to like move around in the board, because other than that, you're just continuously going in a circle. Uh, we just switched to Daisy, that's not bad. Why? I have no idea, but that's kind of fun. Seven. Alright, so here's the cabana. There are only two, um, Koopa Space. Koopa Space is what I call them. Those little icons of his face. Pass by those, and you are forced to donate money. I say forced. To make a donation. To, uh make the cabana bigger by the end of this board 
whatever the highest we have is, I'm going to show the remaining levels because those things do level up. Welcome to Mario Party, baby. I fucking hate that. Welcome to Mario Party. Anyway. Well, I'm getting happy, star. Oh, back to what I was saying is that the highest, the highest level we get in the game is the lowest level that is in that. Both cabanas do level up. It is very rare to see it level up because by design of this game, it is very uh, hard to have that go up against a certain level. I'm probably not going to say what the level is, but after a certain level, it just feels like rare that nobody lands on the happy spaces because in general, this board is designed around happening spaces because uh, there's like six happening spaces around the cabana. Yeah, there's like six spaces basically around the, uh, the cabana. Shit, no. Fuck. Ugh, sucks. We just got blown up and had to like cover his job. Sucks. You know, after doing that, um, what do you call it? Um, there's six uh, spaces, so having spaces around the cabana, which is very, very hard to not land on. Other than that, the other happening spaces around the board just make you travel around the board. Which is very, very good in its own right because uh, you get to, uh... Yeah, because you, cause you uh, basically get to move around the board as much as you can. Also, the only chance spaces on the board are, be are behind a uh, mini mushroom pipe after that mini game. Anyway, now you get to see what the watermelon one does. You get to see where the other watermelon is. Ahoy, hop on my back and ride. So yeah. Other than that, it is very, very fun to see that. Um, in general, if you have a not enough, this is the second level of the cabana. In general, it's very fun to see that thing level up, but in general, it's always, always gonna go and collapse it down. Because, just to spoil it, what those, uh, what those, uh, happening spaces do is that you're forced to pay to stay a night there. And after that, you, uh, uh, it gets broken. It just gets destroyed. I'm not saying, I'm not saying how. You probably may figure it out, but it's, yeah, I'm not saying you how. I'm not telling you how it gets broken or gets destroyed. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we get a, a decent amount of levels because later, um, later all the uh, I really am guessing that that thing's not gonna get very high levels. Ah, went down. All right, this is gonna be a low score. This is gonna be a low star board apparently, because nobody can get the fucking star. Three throw. We have already done this mini game, but me being me, I actually uh, I actually skipped the rules. Try to make the most shots into the moving baskets. You press A to jump, B to shoot. The middle baskets are worth two points. Bottom one worth one. Shoot after the high point of a jump to make it into the middle roll. That's the strat. Basically, if you want a proper explanation of how to shoot for the twos, if you shoot at the, at the, arc, at the, the apex of your jump, you get a one, jump at the lowest point of coming down. But don't shoot at the apex of your jump, shoot at the very latest you can after a jump, and you'll automatically get a two. Because these balls actually do curve in, and uh, it's very cool. 
Kobe. 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 Nice. All right. You can also like do a combination of like if you're if all the um if all of the tiny fucking main you eat. Uh, 